Hi, welcome to ClickMyProject.com. Let us be discuss about the vast addiction of mobile triple converts attacks in wireless sensor networks using sequential hypothesis testing. Here is the abstract of our project. In wireless sensor network are often deployed in hostile environment where an adversary can capture some of the nodes. Once a node is captured, the attacker can reprogram it and replicate the node in the large number of clones, thus easily taking over the networks. The detection of node replication attacks in a wireless sensor network is therefore a fundamental problem. In this work, we propose a fast and effective mobile replica detection scheme using sequential probability ratio test. We show analytically and th through simulation experiments that our scheme detects mobile replicas in an efficient and robust manner at the cost of reasonable overheads. Here is the data flow diagram for our project. In mobile node creation, we are going to create the mobile networks with a number of mobile nodes with their unique details like ID and speed levels. We have to identify and fix the position of the remaining node which is available just in the networks to find the distances between them. And we have to select the source and destination node for the data transformation and we should identify the current action position of the each node in the network to find the shortest path between the source and destination and we have to go, uh, identify the ca current position of the each node from the source node based on their distances to find the shortest path. In shortest path detection, we should analyze the, the same node will not be visited once again and analyze the speed level, uh, speed level of the each node. The speed level is increased from the system configuration. We should fix as a fake node. If a fake node is detected in the path detection, we should identify and remove the uh, fake node instead of the Instead of that, we have to identify the alternative status to path for the data transformation. We have to select the data to be transferred from the source and destinations. And finally, the data transformation can be represented as a uh, graphical manner. Here is the running procedure of the project. Just we are going to enter the uh, their own unique attributes for each node. I can node ID. This is the speed level. The speed level will be a constant for half all other node as per the system configuration and we should update the details just for all the nodes after adding all the details just for the each node we can move to the mobile mobile environment nodes with six nodes we can add multiple nodes more than six yes we are going to start the nodes with the specific speed levels and we have to identify the fix the position identify and fix the position of the all the nodes from that node we have to calculate the current exit position of the all the nodes in the mobile network in the return the form just we are going to select the source and destination node for the data transformation and this is the current position of the x and y or uh, x y position of the each node which is available in the mobile network and we should calculate the distances based on the source node selections from from source node to all other nodes which are available in the network to find where the shortest path between the source and destination and this is the shortest path reduction and if we just we are going to identify the intermediate node which is going to transfer the data between the source and destination node finally in the request can be forward to the base station to identify the fake node is present inside the path or not and these are the intermediate nodes and just we are going to identify the fake node the system configuration level is mentioned as 1 but the node M5 has a speed level as 3 though therefore the M5 node is identified as a fake node we should remove from the current path and we have to identify the alternative path for the source and destination as M1 to M6 with our node M5 just we are going to form a, a new path to transfer the data in that form just we are going to select the data select the file to be transferred between the source and destination node
these are the data this file containing and thus we are going to represent it as a green graphical manner the data will be transferred like this the intermediate node file will be created while transfer the data from the source and destinations with the same content in this paper we have proposed a duplicate detection scheme for mobile sensor networks based on sequence sky path testing we presented quantitative analysis of the limit of the amount of times and speed for which replica nodes can avoid detection we performed simulations of the scheme under a random movement attack strategy in which the attacker lets replicas randomly move in the network and static placement attack strategy in which keep his replicas from moving to best avoid detection and remove fake node from the path find the alternative path without any data loss